back with the high school football media day here at Everbank Stadium. I got the Orange Park Raiders, who just happens to be on my alumnus of me. Um, got Coach McPherson here, and who we else we have here today? My name's Josh Rhodes, so I play on the line and I'm a senior. All right. Coach, um, let, let's, let's talk about some of your offensive players. Who do we have come back on offense? Uh, obviously, the two right uh, next to me here, Marquise Brown in the slot and, and Josh Rhodes, offensive line. Uh, two of our only returning senior starters that we have on the team. Uh, that's one of the youngest teams I've probably ever coached. And, so these guys right here are going to kind of anchor that with, with some leadership and, and uh, the fact that they're returning starters, started 10 games last year. Uh, and then we've got uh, we've got Elijah Jones, who's uh, another senior, but he didn't play for me last year. He was injured, so he didn't play. And then we have all younger kids after that. So Silas Little and James Rhodes on the offensive line, they're, they're both uh, juniors. A.J. Miller, the quarterback's a junior. Terrence Johnson, the receiver's a junior. David Frederick, receiver's a junior. Zykeem Sermon's a tailback's a junior. So everybody else outside of these two are, are basically all young kids. And so, you know, offensively, we We've got some skilled players. We've got some good players to get the ball into their hands. Uh, three of our linemen started all 10 games last year, so we returned some linemen, but they're young. So it's just going to take some time. And, and uh, once these guys get it going, I think we'll be okay on offense. And speaking of uh, youth, uh, you guys are very young on defense. I know in spring you said you started nine freshmen. Six on defense. Six. Six on defense. Six freshmen that will be sophomores this year. And, Started one or two of them on offense. So all together, we probably started eight or nine freshmen in that spring game. Yeah. Who are some of the uh, key defensive players? Uh, Kendy Charles, a defensive end, is going to be a real good one. Uh, he's only you know, again a tenth grader. Uh, Deontay Dominic in the middle, Mike linebacker, is going to be a real good one. Uh, Hunter Moore is a tenth grade kid playing Will linebacker right now. Is going to be real good for us. Two corners we got right now, and Isaiah Blair and Kate Nelmore are both 10th grade kids. And free safety is a 10th grader, Spencer Kirkham. So, uh, you know, when you start six ninth grade kids in a spring game and upcoming 10th grade kids, it's, you know, it's great for the future, but it's a little bit scary right now with the schedule we play and the teams we play against. Those kids are they're gonna get uh, going to get thrown to the wolves real quick. but. I really like the way they work. I, I, I like how they kind of understand what we're trying to do, and I feel like it's going to be a great situation for us down the road. Obviously, Clay and Baker have a lot more experience yes. as far as returning starters and playoff experience. But I, I'm sure you've got to feel, even though with being so young, that potentially you have the potential to compete for a long part. Yeah, I mean, we feel good. Uh, with the talent that we have, we feel like we can compete. Uh, you know, and with the new playoff system, it's great now because if we lose one or two district games, we're not out of it. You know, and, and our kids need to understand that. In the past, if you lost, you know, you, you'd lose one or two district games, and it'd be hard to keep the kids motivated the rest of the year. And next thing you know, we were four and one last year and finished the season four and five. So once we lost to Clay and Baker, our kids kind of figured out, well, there goes the playoffs, and it was hard to keep guys motivated. This group is a little bit different than that. Um, they'll stay motivated the whole time, but the new playoff system makes it great because it's like, hey, guys, I, all right, we lost two district games, but the teams we're losing to have seven, eight wins. We're going to get a ton of points for those games, and, you know, we feel good that we still have a chance to make it. So um, the, the big thing with young kids is adversity. Can we handle adversity? Because right now in the offseason, there's no wins and losses, and everything's great. So with us, with the culture that we're building and the chemistry that we're trying to build with our team, it's okay. If we get smacked around and we lose a game, are you guys okay? Can we come back and keep working? They might be young. They've got talent over there in Orange Park. You can catch them out. Hoy P. Cotton Stadium every Friday night. Coach McPherson is bringing Raider football back to Orange Park. And potentially, and I predict you guys will be in the playoffs as a wild card team. No pressure, Coach. No pressure at all. But go check out the Orange Park Raiders.